So I stopped counting, but it's a pleasure every week. And as Chazal teach us when it comes to Torah, Bechol yoyim v'yoyim yiu be'enecho k'chadoshim. So every Sunday evening at seven o'clock, I feel as if it's the first year. And I am happy to be part of this great endeavor. We're all sitting at home and we're quite distressed. We miss our shuls, we miss our yeshivas at Baruch Hashem. It's the best we can do. And for me, it's a big schus to give this shit every week. So as we said last week, we once again deal with the Berchus of Mazayin. And at the beginning of last week's shit, I stressed the unique importance of Berchus of Mazayin being the only brocha which Lekuli Yalme is Menatayra. So Mrs. Shabedibur is an essential and crucial part of Avoidus Hayoim. But Mitzvah Shabbat at least the ones that are part of the Seder Ayam, most of them are Midar Abonon, Tvilas Amidas Dar Abonon, Shachas Minchamar of Dar Abonon, Mea Brochas Bakol Yoy Midar Abonon. The only brocha that is part of our daily routine, which is Menatoira Lukulian, is Berchas Amosan, and that's why this brocha is so important. So the Shia today, last week we spoke about what are the halakam of Berches and Mosan? One brocha, two brochas, three brochas, what's menatoira, what's menatabonan, and we dealt with bris v'toira. Today, we're dealing with a different sugya. What is the machayev of Berches and Mosan? So the Pesach says, v'yochalto v'savato v'verachto v'sashem alokecho v'ochalto v'savato which of the two? Which of the two is the essence? Which of the two is the fundamental mechayev? Is it svia or achila? So, because I love Hagadoras, and I think Hagadora is, is out of base in whatever we learn, the proper Hagadora is the basis of everything and all the halachas and all the chidushim derive from the basic Haggadah. So when the Pesach says, V'yocholto v'savoto v'darachto, yesh la'ayin, is the achila the machayev? But the achila is only machayev if it's achilas svia. Or is the svia the machayev? But svia is only machayev if it's a svia sha'al yedei, Achila. So I wrote a very, very important arichus regarding the very concept of Achila that we call Dine Torah. Achilas mitzvah, Achilas macholos asurois, Achila biyor makipurim, Achila lagabe brochas. How do we define Achila? So today there are various different methods in medicine in which to nourish people without really eating in a proper fashion. There are many situations in which a person cannot really eat. If he had a mouth operation or a throat operation or, or other different illnesses, so we could open up his belly and put in a peg and feed him directly into his stomach. We could give him IV, won't make him satisfied, won't fill his stomach, but it could give him some of essential nourishment. And I made it very clear that the Agdora Vachila is only if you put food into your mouth and you swallow it and it goes down your throat. Any other methodology is not defined as Achila. Even if you have a feeding tube down your throat, that is not Achila. Not by matzah and mora, not by mecholos asuris, not by yom kippur. It's not defined as achila. So one of the craziest stories I ever had in the hospital was there was a chosh of a rebbe in the hospital, and it was Pesach, and he couldn't eat. He was barely conscious, 
and suddenly all the bells started ringing and all the machines, the monitor went crazy and the nurses came rushing into his room and the IV wasn't working. So one of us will see them because he couldn't eat matzah, put matzah mail into his IV to feed him with matzah, to, you know, through his, through his blood system. And naturally it clogged up the entire system. So regarding the very concept of Achille, it is only when you put food into your mouth and you swallow it. But the question I'm asking right now is a different question. Achille shal svia or svia sha'al yedei achille? What is machayev berches amazon? So whenever we have an abstract chakira, we need to present an afkemena. What would be the difference? And only then will people really understand and appreciate what the shaila is. The shaila is, do you need to eat a kezayas toich kadei achilles pras to be mochuyav in berches and Muslim. A person ate kadei svia. He ate a lot. And he is totally satisfied. He filled his stomach. But he ate very slowly, and he did not eat a kezayis toich kadei achilles pras. If I'm not sure, if I'm, you know, if my memory isn't working wonders, I think I mentioned last week, what is the shia to kezayis toich kadei achilles pras? So by Yom Kippur, we're machma nine minutes. But that's just a chumr lagabi Yom Kippur. Lagabi mitzvahs and lagabi berchus and Muslim, we should be machma two minutes, maximum four minutes. And that is why I always say, when you begin a meal, first thing, eat a kazai, is toch kadei achilles pras. So, regabe berches and mozen di uraise, does one need to eat a kazai, is toch kadei achilles pras? So, if the machayev is achile, yes. If you didn't eat kazai, is toch kadei achilles pras, then, then it's not achile. But if we say, sibes achiyuv, the machayev is svir, svir shabo al yedei achile. Maybe you don't need to eat a kezayis. Maybe you don't even need to eat a kezayis. But it's very uncommon that a person would be full and satisfied if he didn't eat a kezayis. So let us embark on our journey. And this is a very fascinating sugya. Dalid machloikis vedora. Four different opinions that we find in Poison. But before going into the amkis of the sugya, I just want to mention Men a person who is not mochiv in berchus bozon eloam can ochel kedei svia mikra mole de barakosov biochalto v'sabato v'hemach mira manatz mamad kezayis ad kebeitza. That's the gemon because that's what. So that is why we pass him. Men a tayra berchus bozon is only if a person needs kedei svia midarabonan if he had a kezayis pass. Then he is chayim in berchus amos. So, my rabbanon, he definitely needs to eat a kezayis pass. But regarding berchus amos and diuraisa, does he need to eat pass kedei svia? That's uncommon. That's uncommon. Usually, what is a what is a normal suda? People don't eat only bread. People eat a meal. Bosso, the dogim, salad. So here, Bechsa wasn't your rice. Do you need to eat pas kedei svia? Or you need to eat a kezayis pas? But other things, all in all, you ate kedei svia. That's a machloikas and a chaynam. Mahari chagas, shalash shuvas alochas katalas, chelik beis, simen reish chav zayin. Says, if in the meal you ate kedei svir, but it's not that you need to eat pas kedei svir. Practically speaking, this shit makes a lot of sense. Because if you eat pas kedei svir, all the rest would be achila gas. It's not reasonable that a person eats bread and bread and bread and he is satisfied and his belly is full and he just goes on eating bosa and dogam and all the rest. 
practically speaking, I think that Rochas Ketanas makes a lot of sense, but most of the Achroinim reject his opinion. Halachically speaking, Bechaz the Muslim requires pass. So, if Menatoid or Chayev only Kedai Svir, you need to eat pass Kedai Svir. So, the Mishnah Bur has somewhat of a Pshora, and the Pshora makes a lot of sense. Because on one hand, Aruchas Katana says, Kedai Svir, all in all, the entire Suda, Prima Godim, Kuf Pei Dalid. And Aishal Avram, the priest of Prima Godim, says, no, pass Kedai Svir. So the Mishnah Bura and Bura Aloha, Kuf Pei Dalit, has somewhat of a compromise. And I think he's right. So the Mishnah Bura says, you need to, to eat Kedai Svir of Pas, but Dvorim Shemelafsim Behem is a Pas. So in a normal Suda, there are Macholim that are the essence of the Suda. By halachic definition, the most important ingredient of a suda is pas. In the modern world, not really. Not really. It's the meat, it's the main course, it's the main dish. But there are macholam that are halachically defined as the vorim shemelafsam behem pas, things you eat together with bread. Well, probably the most common example in our time would be hummus. You eat hummus with bread. You eat some salads with a challah when you eat Shabbos. So many people, especially in Israel, have different types of salads with each together with a challah. That is one shem and absim bem is a pas. So I think this mission Buddha makes a lot of sense. On one hand, you need to eat pas kedai svir because Berch Zemozan is associated with pas and with no other macholim. But as I asked before, it doesn't make sense if a person will fill up his stomach with pas, then how will he eat the rest of the Suda? So the Mishnah Bur is somewhat of a compromise, and I think it makes a lot of sense that the Chazanish agrees with Mishnah Bur. But let us now, after the short introduction, which is Ma Mishnagei Aloha Namaisa, let us delve into the lumbus of the Sugi. So I asked before, Biochalto Bisilvato. How do these two concepts fit together? Achille and Sviya. So when I told you not chayim berches amazon elohim can ochel kedei svir, but what is the machayev? Achile sheyesh bo svir or svir shabo al yedei achile. Nafka mina kezai stoch kedechim zvas. Mogan Avram reish you receive cotton alaf quotes the knesses like doylo. Knesses like doylo ben benisti. Mogan Avram quotes them all the time. All the boys can quote. So the Knesset Sadoila maintains that by Berchus Amosan, you don't need a Kezayis Toich Hadei Achilles Pras. Mogan Avrom disagrees. And the Mogan Avrom says, but the Posek says, Veochalto Vesavoto. So you need Achille. And if you don't need a Kezayis Toich Hadei Achilles Pras, it's not Achille. Nechelekua Choinem Bebiur Divrei Amogan Avrom. The Prima Godem Eishel Avrom Siv Koten Aleph argues, if he ate Kedai Svir, even the Mogan of Rome agrees that you don't need a Kezai Esther Kedai Achilles Pras. Because the Menatoi the Berches the Mosin depends on Svir. The argument between Kesek Dona and Mogan of Rome is only in the Chiv the Rabbonin of a Kezai Do we say call the Tikkun Rabbonin candy or rice a Tikkun? And just like Ochel Kedai Svir is Chayev Berches Amozen, even if he didn't eat the Kazai Stoch of the Achilles Pras, Sharei Besvir Talia Milsa, the same regarding Ochel Kazai. And when the Mogan of Rome deal disagrees with the Knesset Sagdoil, it is only Lagabit did the Rabbonan of Ochel Kazai, but in Ochel Kedai Svir, the Mogan of Rome agrees with the Knesset Sagdoil, Ochel Kedai Svir. Vesavato, it depends on Sri, even if he didn't eat it because I started to eat his But the Mishnah Bura disagrees with the Prima Godem. And the Mishnah Bura is understanding Reish Yud Sivkot Nalaf Shad Si and Sivkot Yud is the Mogan of Rome disagrees with the Knesset Sagdoyle, even Lagabi the Dindi Rice. Yes, Menatoira Besviya Talia Melsa. 
אבל לא רק בשביעה, גם באכילה. ואוכלתו וסבותו כסף. We need both אכילה and שביעה. So my understanding is, according to the Knesset Zagdoyle, no, it all depends on Svir. Svir shabu al yedei achila. Bogdan Avram says, no, we need achila as well. Achila, sheyesh bo Svir. And then the Prima Godem and the Mishnah Brura have an argument according to the Bogdan Avram. Does he agree with the Knesset Zagdoyle legabe di uraisen? And the argument is only Kesayis, is it dumya di uraisa, or do we say no? Medarabonon, it's not talia b'svi, it's only talia b'achila. And therefore, Medarabonon, if he didn't eat a kesayis, tochad yechil espas, he's not chayiv. Now, we're not finished yet, it becomes more complicated. So the Mishnah Bruna maintains, what is the din? If a person in the beginning of the Suda ate and then he went on and he ate some more and some more and some more. At the end of the Suda, he ate Kedai Sevilla. But the Kedai Sevilla wasn't Kedai Sevilla Achilles Pras. Mogan Avram says, Mishnah Brewer says, Lekuli al machai berches amozen diorais. Shere Achilles Yeshkan v'sviya Yeshkan. Achili yeshkan, v'sviya yeshkan. So even though the Mughan of Rome says that even the chi of the Uraisa, that is, depends on sviya, needs kazayas tocha de achilles pras, but we could be mitzalef. Yere kazayas tocha de achilles pras. Harishi yeshkan achile. And at the end of the day, he ate kedei sviya, sviya yeshkan, Achille yeshkan chayev berches amozen diuraisa. The Mechaz Chinech has a different opinion. Well, the Mechaz Chinech doesn't quote the Mishnah Brura because he was many years older than the, than the Mishnah Brura. At least 50 years. And his Sefer was printed far before the Mishnah Brura. But neither does the Mishnah Brura quote the Mechaz Chinech. I don't think the Mishnah Bura ever quotes the Mechaz Chinech because the Mechaz Chinech is not really a poisic. There are so many Chidush Aloch and the Mechaz Chinech is one of, one of the most amazing and incredible sforim, but it's not the style of the Sefer. It's not Geboit Aloch Ala Maiser. So the Minchaz Chinech and Semen Tov Lamed maintains that there is no Chiev Berches Amozen di Uraisa unless the Kedei Sevilla is Kezayis Toich Kedei Achilles Pras. And it's not enough that the beginning of the Sudi era Kezayis Toich Kedei Achilles The Sevilla needs to be Kezayis Toich Kedei Achilles Pras. Ad Shuhu Saveya. Another Kezayis, another Kezayis, and another Kezayis. But Achilles Hasoiva, so Achilles, so, if you want to summarize this part of today's shir, Arabo Machlaikis Bedal. According to the Knesset Sagdoila, Berches Amozen is unlike all the other Dine Achilles Shabbatoila. Unlike Achilles Mitzvah, unlike Achilles Isur. It is a totally different concept. It depends on Svir, not on Achille. According to Knesset Doyle, even with the Rabbonon, that a person is high because the Muslim because of Ayis. But the essential Haggadah doesn't change. And just like the Chi of the Urais, it doesn't necessitate Kezayis, Torcha, the Achilles Pras, because it depends on Svir. Even the Chi of the Rabbonon, yes, you need to hear Kezayis. Pochus and Kezayis, there is no Chi of the Muslim. However, you do not need to eat a kezayis tocha de chedes pas, even not regarding the Rabbana. The Mughan of Rome definitely disagrees with the Knesset Doyla on the second point. Nechlaku prima godem, a Mishnah Buru, whether he disagrees on the first point. So according to the prima godem, regarding Mishoch al-Kedei Sviya, the Mughan of Rome agrees that you don't need kezayis tocha de chedes pas. His machloik is with the Knesset Doyle, it's only the Chiev, the Rabbonah, no Chal Kezayis. According to the Mishnah Brura, 
even the Uraisa, we need both Vilchalto and Vesavoto. And now comes the additional machlokes between Mishnah Brura and Mishnah Chino. <coughs> so according to the Mishnah Brura, we need both Vilchalto and Savoto, but we don't need them together. So if a person ate at the beginning of his meal, Kezai's pasta, Chadechilis pasta, and then he goes on to eat pas more and more. At the end of the Suda, <coughs> he is totally satisfied. Vesavoto is high bech samos and diurais. Because Achili Yeshkan, Betchilis a Suda, Svi Yeshkan, Besef a Suda, Mechzchen, let's know. Achilis a Saiva necessitates Kezayes, Toich Kadei Achilis Pas. The Yochot of the Savoto, it's not two different parts. The Yochot of the Savoto means that he's not Chayv and Berchas Amozan unless there is Achilas Sevilla with all the dinam of Achila, which means Kezayis Toich Kedei Achilas Pras. There's an amazing shuva of the Radbaz, Chelet Vav. Beis alofim reish chav dalet. Tshuva said at best, there are two different counts, two different systems. There are seven chalokim in tshuva said at best. Each chalik starts from aleph, but there is also the total count. So every tshuva at best has two numbers. Chalik vav, beis alofim reish chav dalet. And this said at is quoted in the Achroinim. Shara Tshuva, Kuf Tzadik Zayin, Bihalacha, Kuf Pei Dana. So the Radbaz says, Choyle Vezokin, Sha'achiloson Mu'etes. Elderly people don't eat much. And sometimes when a person is ill, he also doesn't have any appetite, he doesn't eat much. So Choyle Vezokin, that become satisfied are chayev sometimes berches amos and diuraisa, even they ate only a kezayis. So when Chazal say hem achmirem al atzma mat kezayis v'ad kebeitzer, that it's only a chiv that a bon, and it's normal people, young people, healthy people that eat nice quantity, but people that are saveya ba'achile mu'etes. Sometimes it could be chayim bech samos and yoraisi, even they they only ate a kezayis. But it is clear in the Radbaz poches me kezayis, there never could be chayim bech samos and yoraisi, even though the person is satisfied, he can't eat more. And this is common in our time. Thousands of people, maybe tens of thousands, went through surgical procedures because of obesity, you know, because of their weight. So sometimes they cut out part of the, of the intestines. And especially in the initial stage after the surgery, these people cannot eat much. So according to the Radbaz, Shia Svia is totally individual. It, it is subjective. There is no objective Shia. It's not a Kriseves like we find in Yom Kippur or gregarious, we find by so as Shabbos. It's, it's totally subjective. And if a person is satisfied with the Kezayis, then he's high of the Uraisa, but not Pachas and Kezayis. So this seems to be a riot to the Mogan of Ram. That even when we're dealing with Kedai Sevea, but we still need the concept of Achila, V'ochalta V'savato Ksiv. But there's an interesting tshuva in Chsam Soifa. Tshuva Sorachayim Sememem Tess and the Chsam Soifa seems to clearly indicate that if a person would be surveya, poches mikezayis, there would be a chiv bechas a mozn diurais. So last week, towards the end of the year, I shared with you a pshat that I said, and I think it's Teda Sevnes. I won't go over it again, but I just want to revive your memory. So Shalom Malachi Yashobas is a Kodesh Boch, we learn in Brochus Chofum at Beis. How do you say in Birchus Kahanim, Yisro Hashem Pone Verlecho, V'yosel Ochem Sholem, 
וכי יש נשיא אספונם לפוניו, אשר לא יספונם ולא ייקח שייכת כסיו. And הקדוש ברוך הוא responds and answers, וכי איך לא יעשה לפונם? אני אמרתי ואכלתי לסבות ולמחים מהיר, אמר אסם ואל תזייס ואל תבייסם. So פה זה פשט איז, מנתוי לב, איז נוכי אבך זמו זה לא נפיד כדי סביר. אבל דר מחמר, מדר בוני נרחי ואיפי נפיוני אלה כזייס. So last week I said a פשט, no, the essence is, I promised them, ויאכלתו וסבותו, I promised them abundance, I promised them plenty, I promised them שפע, and not always do I give them what I promised, but they always give me what they promised. והם מחמיר מאז ועד כזייס ועד כבייס, even though they hunger, they don't have what to eat, they don't have what to put on the table, they have merely, barely a כזייס, and they still say ברך סמוס. That's my shot. But there's some סויפה has פשט number three. תשובה זו ארכיים סממם טס. סדר סמסוי פרנס. מן התוירו, פרסון אס חייב תסי ברכס המוזן, אם הוא שבע, אבן פוחס מגזייס. והם מחמיר הם על עצמם, and they will eat more than they really need, עד כזייס, עד כבייצר. זה סדר סמסוי פשט. זה אינטרסטינג פשט. אני חושב שזה לא חייק מן הפשט. But what we learn from the Chesam Soifer is that Menatoir, if a person would be satisfied Pochas Mikizayis, it would be Chayev Beberchas Amosayim. So what is the scenario that Chesam Soifer is dealing with? Chesam Soifer brings the Gemur and Yuma. Kol yom av shal shim ana tzadak nishtalchu brocha balechem aponim vebishtay alechem. Kol koyen magi oi kipul vuhu saveya. Oichel kimo v'mezborech b'mayo. There was a blessing in the past. And he ate one drop and he was satisfied. And that was the bracha sh'nishtalcho v'lechem upon him. So the Chesam Soifer says, in those days, b'yom avshel shimen atzadik, a person didn't need to eat a lot to become satisfied. So manatoy liwi b'chayiv, even pochas mekezayis, kol koyin shemagi ha'ikipul. ויאפר פיקן מחמיר אמר לעצמו, to eat את הזייס, to eat את הביצה, to ממקאי עם דברי חכום. So, yes, I am aware that this is some soif as a god, it's not, it's not a פסק הלוכה. But what we learn from the some soif is, לשיטה סוי, if a person would be שווה a פוחס מכזייס, he would have a חייב ברך סמוזן דיורייס, and that is נסתר מדברי הרדבאז. And the Red Bar says, yes, Aloha Lamais. And the Red Bar says, an elderly person, a sick person, she'achilosoi mu'etas, and he doesn't really need more. If he had a kezayis, chayv b'chza mozn yoraisi. So it's clear in the Red Bar's, pochas mikezayis not. And why not? Biochalto b'savato. So there is no chiv b'chza mozn yoraisi unless we have both. Achila and both Svi, and that is why we need to eat the Gezayis, Toich Kedei Achila's Blas. Me'inyan le'inyan ba'oisayu inyan. There's a fascinating and beautiful cipher, letters from the Imre Emes. So the early Gera Rebis, who were great Ga'inim, the first Gera Rebbe was Chidush Arim. Chedusharim, as we know, was a Talmud of the Kotzker. And the Chedusharim was an amazing goin. His forum on mind body. And then the Svasemis. During the lifetime of the Svasemis, he was the biggest Rebbe in Poland. People didn't know that he's a goin. Unlike the Chedusharim, Kala Oretz Hirish Machoid of the Chedusharim, It is only after the Ptira of the Svasemis that the Svadushim were printed. And amazing Svorim, Svasemis and Moed and Kodshim. Even the Briskers appreciate the Svasemis and Kodshim. Svasemis had an interesting Derech al Nimid. He learned Gemara Rasha Toysus. That was his Seder al Nimid. He didn't really learn much of the Rishoyim. And it is amazing to see when you learn Tzvah Semes, especially on Shabbos, 
He's all the time mechaven to the Rashba, to the Ran, to the Rosh. And what is obvious is say that an Imel is more Rashi Toysis than he wrote to Oris. But what you see from the Sosemis is his Yashra. See, he goes in the footpaths of, of the Rishonim. So the son of the Sosemis was the Imre Emis, and the Imre Emis didn't write in his form. But he was known to be one of the greatest Masmidim of his generation. And they printed Mikhtavei Teira, which is letters, very short letters. The Imre Emis was a big shaskan. His words were counted. And Bechsav the same. So the only lumdis or halacha we had from the Imre Emis is these Mikhtavei Teira. Mikhtavei Teira from the Imre Emis in Malamed Gimel. He writes a letter to his great father, the Svasemis. And he writes a suffix. Person ate a kezayis. And he benched. And then he washed again. Techef miyad. Don't ask me why. Maybe he was rushing. He didn't have time. So he ate a kezayis and he benched. And then he decided to eat some more. He washed again, and he ate some more. And he came like a day severe. But in the second Suda, he didn't eat a kezayis toche de Achilles pas. Is he chayim berches a mozen deoraisa or not? Because the first berches a mozen was only mid Rabbonin. And the Rabbonin is not moitzi a deoraisa. So maybe, after he ate some more pas, and now he achieved Kedai Svir, is he chayim berches a mozen deoraisa? But now he didn't eat a kezayis. But maybe the first kezayis is mitzvah to the second achila because the berches of Mosin de Rabbonon doesn't pater achiev de Uraisa, which is a fascinating suffix. Semen lamedalid, we find the response of the Svasemis to the question of his great son of the Imre Emis. And the Svasemis writes a Gevalda Gechidish and he says, if you don't eat Kedai Svi, you're not Chayev Berches HaMosin. But if you benched, you were Yoytze Menatoyer. Which is a fascinating and profound argument. There is no Chayev Diuraisa, but there is a Ptur Diuraisa. And therefore, Kedai is number one, cannot be Mitzdarev to Suda Number two. Yes, he didn't have a chiv to bench, but he benched. And I find this chiddush very difficult to accept because across the board, when one person is might see the other, it all depends on chiv. Misha enu mechuyev can be might see another. Yes, there's a din of a pishiyot semoitzi, but that is only because kod yisor areiv and zed azeh, but basically, if a person needs to be yoitze, he needs to be yoitze from a bar chiyuv and minatay. So if there is no chiyuv in berches amazon, that would not be defined as berches amazon minatay. So why wouldn't kezayis number one be mitzdarif to achila number two? So it's obvious, both from the Imre Emes and from the Svas Emes, they did not accept the Minchas Chinuch, that the severe necessitates a Kezayis Torka de Achilles Pras. Their opinion is like the Mishnah Bruru we mentioned before. Achili Yeshkan, Svea Yeshkan. I would say, with a slightly different knech, different than the Svas Emes, at the end of the day, Brochus all depend on Hesach Hadas. There is no greater Hesach Hadas than Berchus Hamazin. And therefore, when a person benched, Ein Lacho Siluk Godel Mizeh. Not because he pattered that Kezayis, but because there's no greater Hesach Hadas. And the concept of sheer equal is only because before she equal there is no hesach adas. But there's no 
more ultimate gemara seuda than berches amazon, regardless whether we is chayav berches amazon or not. Berches amazon is the greatest hesachadas from seuda from achila, and therefore that is my reasoning. Yes, the Sussemis is right. Kehilchasei v'lo metamei. Rebbe Kiva Ege has a similar suffolk in Kuf Pei Bob and Shechan Ochor Achayim. But the Sussemis deals with Pochas Mekedei Sviya and after Benching Kedei Sviya, Rebbe Kiva Ege's suffolk is Kotn Shinnes Gadol. And the question might be relevant in the night of a boy's Bar Mitzvah. So they started the Suda before the Shkia or at least before Tseis HaKoychavim. And the little boy ate. He ate a kezayis. And they benched. And then they washed again. And he was mashlim. L'kedei svir. Toich zman shiur ikul. Is it mitzdaraf or not? So the Bekiva Eger presents this question twofold. If they didn't bench, but he ate the entire Suda before Tzaisik Echovim was still a cotton. And then, Torke de Shirikul was Tzaisik Echovim. Is a high Bechsa Muslim and a Torah, only Bechsa Muslim and a Bonum. And that entirely depends on the very first question we asked at the beginning of today's Shia. Is Svia the Machayev or Achille is the Machayev? If Achille is the Machayev, Bishas Achille was a cotton. So he has no Chiev Bechis Amosn di Uraisa. But if the Svia is Machayev, and you don't need it, you don't need a Kazai Storche de Achilles Pras, then maybe he would be Chayev Bechis Amosn di Uraisa. And then the Bekiva Dege goes on, question number two. If they benched, and then he washed again, but the second time he didn't eat Kedei Svir, is it mitzdal? So question number two is similar to the Emes and the Svesemes of what I said. Question number one would be slightly different. And question number one of Rabbi Kiva Eger. Belayl HaBar Mitzvah, the entire Suda was before Tzai Sekechovim, or at least most of it. But by nightfall, it still is toich kedei shir ikul. Could it be moitzi gedoylem by berches amosin? That would be the question on Ochala Maisa. Could he be moitzi gedoylem by berches amosin? Is his berches amosin the uraisa or not? If it depends on Sevilla, it would be the uraisa. But if the Mechaev is Achille, or even according to the Mogan of Rome and the Mishnah Brewer, that we need both Achille and Sevilla, you would not be Chayev and Bechus Amos and Deorais. So this is a fascinating sugya in which we deal with Bechus Amos and Derabonon and Bechus Amos and Deorais. So fundamentally, at the beginning of this year, we dealt with a question which is Mama Shaloch Alamaisa. Berches Amos and Does it need to be Pas Kedei Svia or Oichel Kedei Svia? Aloch is Ketanas on one hand, Prima Godam on the other, and the compromise, the Pshor of the Mishnah Gura. And then we went on to deal at length with the combination of what is the Machayev? Achille Sheesh Bosvir, or Svir Shebo Al Yede Achille. And we saw four different opinions. Knesses Agdoila, Mogravro Malibe de Prima Goda, Mogravro Malibe de Mishnabura, and then the Mitras Chinuch. And then we discussed the fascinating spakes of the Imre Emes and the Svas Emes on one hand, and the Kiva Egis and the Kuf Pei Bob on the other hand. So I still have another shear tonight, so I apologize, but I am rushing. I gave a shear this afternoon, and I have another one tonight for my koilo. 
So once again, it's a pleasure to be with you. And uh, let us all hope and daven and pray that this will be over because of the Amen while we will be able to go back to yeshivas and back to shuls. But for the time being, it's a schus and a pleasure. And I thank you all. And I especially thank my dear friend from many years, Arav Gatiz Meshlita, Arav Rav Shleim, was a very dear friend for all these years. And Boch Hashem, uh, we have a shutvis in our Botsas Torah, which also goes on many years from the Archikala, from the Aguda. Thank you. Can we ask how the Rav's mother is feeling? Hopefully better? Yes, I, I just forgot, you know, to dedicate today's shir. So my mother, Boch Hashem, she is Boch Hashem lucid, she's focused, but it's a, it's, a, it's a long way because she's 92 years old and they started doing physiotherapy. They hope she will be able to stand on her feet, but it's a struggle. So Boch Hashem, I ask you all to learn for her and to daven for her fradl. Bas Leia, Amen. We hope to see you next week when we will be discussing in Yane of Bercha Satira, the Chvaid Chag Shulas of Amash Mesha Boyleno. Yeshakayach. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful day. Okay.